You want to protect your brain? Hi, I'm Dr. Crockett, and this is Dr. Crocker with Zeal Integrated Health. And today we're going to talk about glutathione. This is uh, one of the most important antioxidants in your body. Uh, every one of your cells contains glutathione. And I'd say most doctors, when they think about just protecting the body, protecting tissue, yeah. uh, keeping your body healthy, and, and really preventing disease, glutathione is one of those molecules that comes to mind. And when it comes to your brain, this is especially important because this can protect those neurons from heavy metals and some of the toxins that are excitotoxic, meaning that they are causing disruptions in how these neurons function. So it's important to make sure that you've got enough glutathione yep. in your body because if it gets deficient, what happens? Yeah, there's a lot of things that can happen from this. You know, it can lead to leaky gut, which is causing, really leads to a, a leaky blood-brain barrier. And you say, well, what's that really leading to? That can cause free radical damage that leads to lack of focus, causing in brain, uh, brain issues, word retention, to where you're having problems getting those words out. It can really increase the aging process that, you know, makes your brain just age a lot faster to where you're really having problems with, with getting things out remembering things and, and having those problems. It can decrease mitochondrial DNA repair, which is really what runs the entire body. Those cells are a big issue there. It increases the chance of neurological diseases and cancer. Um, you know, a lot of times like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and things like that, it can really decrease your energy level as well. Yeah, you look at some of these things and how it, it damages mitochondria, yep. it affects, you know, just that piece of the cell that makes the energy for the cell to actually run. And just think about this, if the cell's low on energy, disease can present itself. Yep. So we see this really associated with a lot of different diseases. Uh, you're going to see it impact things like the gut with maybe something like Crohn's. Yep. Uh, you'll see it affect the brain, like we mentioned, so you see it associated with Alzheimer's. Uh, you see it associated with organs like the liver and, and just how the pancreas and insulin receptors and ultimately leading to diabetes. Yep. You see GI inflammation, you see liver cirrhosis, uh, pulmonary disorders that, yeah. that occur just from deficiencies in this, in this molecule. Let's talk about some things that can reduce glutathione. Some of the big ones are gonna be things like chronic inflammation, mineral deficiencies in your system, heavy metals, which you can get from you know, tuna fish, you can get it from your foods, you can get it from mercury amalgams in your teeth, different things of that nature. Radiation treatments, those like we talked about cancer earlier, different medications can actually pull this glutathione down in your system. Poor digestion, and one of the big ones is monosodium glutamate, which you find in a lot of your food nowadays. You bet. So these, these are things that basically deplete your glutathione stores yeah. from your body. So let's talk about how we increase glutathione. And I think, you know, first of all, we gotta look at the diet. You know, you can increase just the colorful vegetables in your diet and you're gonna increase some of that glutathione. Uh, some of the foods that are rich in flavonoids and minerals, uh, yeah. vitamin C, vitamin E, magnesium, these are all cofactors in how you use these molecules as well. So, you know, we can get it through diet, but a lot of times when we run blood testing, we find that people are depleted in this to a point where the diet's probably not gonna correct yeah. it, like it yeah. like they need. So a lot of times we have to, res you know, just, as a resource, we use supplementation. And uh, in our office, we'll use you know capsules. Uh, we have some that's in a liposomal form that we use as well. And then we have some products that help in recycling glutathione. This yep. molecule can actually, your body's pretty unique in the fact that it can actually turn some of these things around yep. and use them more than once. And that really helps you to fight some of these disease processes and really prevent some of the damage to your yeah. DNA mm -hmm. and the tissues throughout the body. So if you'd like to learn more about glutathione and how it can help you, uh, check out some of our other videos and remember to subscribe below.